Okay, doing something a little different today. This is Deluxe Paint on the Amiga. And this is the uh, the first graphics program, pretty much, that I ever used back in the day. It came on my old Amiga 1200 when I got it. I just thought, with everyone talking about MS Paint uh, recently, I thought, and their fond memories of that, I thought I'd share my memories of this program. And this, I've, I've not used this since the old days. And... Uh, you know, it's uh, so I'm, I'm going to be pretty rusty. I'm just going to see what I can do. I'm trying to just draw some kind of strange character. This is. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. Yes, I can. Oh, yeah. Now this is nice. You get a little. Uh, how do I? If I can take that. Yeah. Apologies if it's noisy outside. <laughs> I was trying to draw some eyes, but. I'm I'm a terrible artist, <laughs> even worse than Pac Billy, if you can believe it. <laughs> um, I'm more comfortable with pixel art than anything, so I'm just gonna just gonna abandon this. Let's see, how do I delete stuff? Delete? No, that's no. <laughs> undo. Can I undo all the way? Oh, clear. There we go. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, let's zoom in and draw some stuff. Gonna... One thing I like about this program is that it actually starts you off with black, black, black. That's a fast show reference. Um, and uh, most, uh, oops, what am I trying to do? I'm kind of just doodling here. Not sure what to draw really, but yeah. <laughs> I did use this quite a lot back in the day. I before before this, my only experience of graphics was on the ZX Spectrum, making graphics on that. God, my mouse is a bit shit, you know. It's 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 been wobbling. Can I delete stuff like this? Oh, oh, okay. That's actually really cool. I forgot I could do that. You can grab a bit with this and then draw with it. Oh, okay. Just gonna draw a little box here. So this is how you copy paste, I guess. You just kind of grab that, and then you just actually paint with it. It's like cat captures it as a brush. Very cool. Very nice. Um, how do I delete? How do I erase? Is the question. So, oh, zoom in, zoom out. Nice. What's this? Oh, <gasps> look at that. I forgot about this tool. Oh, how cool is that? Ooh, Spirograph. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is, it's like the, uh, it's, it looks nice, but it's not too useful, I don't think. Uh, oh, symmetry. Cyclic, mirror, order six, tile. Huh. <gasps> Look at this. Very handy. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of rambling through this, but I really need an erase function. Oh, I guess I can just paint with the background. Right, I'm so. Oops. What's going on? Oh, yeah. I've still got it under tile mode. <laughs> How do I turn that off? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, I did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm so used to layers and things in other programs. My. my Paint program of choice on PC I use most is Paint.net, which I find fairly useful. It's a good uh, medium between kind of heavyweight stuff like Photoshop and something like uh, Paint, MS Paint. I, I find I find it quite quite useful. It's, and you can you can you can actually uh, you can put a lot of things into it. You can put a lot of uh, plugins and stuff. See, is that the fill tool? Yes. You know, it's only just occurred to me that that is a paint sort of can spilling out. I never, I remember this symbol, but I never connected that. I just saw it as an abstract symbol, and and then I just realised. <laughs> 
yeah, look at that. You can see it now. But that just looked like a kind of weird alien guy with a giant head and tiny little arms. Like the guys in Bitpop. Yeah, there's something really wrong with my mouse. I need to get a new one. It kind of wobbles so that you can see that. That's not that's not my hand being shaky. I mean, maybe it is. I don't think I've got a shaky hand. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just, just doing a little... I used to do this a lot, like the uh, sort of pseudo 3D thing. And I just realized it's got all this crap over here. But One thing I am noticing is the lack of a kind of... Ooh, oh, that's fun. You can actually see the fill routine going through. I kind of want to see that again. <sighs> nice. I mean, you know, that's actually a limitation, but I, I just it does actually seem kind of cool to me. Uh, let's go for the slightly light color on top. Oh, that's kind of green. Can I change the color is the question. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got a lot of colors to work with, really. This is like 256 colors. I guess. Yeah, look, so there's 234, 5, It's like, yeah, I think this is 256. But it's predefined. And then there's a whole bunch of white. I guess that's... Hmm. Yeah. I would like to be able to mix my own colors, but I guess this is kind of like a color picker. Um, so yeah, this is... I mean, obviously no one would really use this except for nostalgia these days. It's not... Uh, you know, if you want to create art, you really want as many tools as you can. But there are... There is some... Like Pac really was saying in his MS Paint video, um, there is some... Or was it him? Or was it... No, it was LGR in in his video. Um, how there is some beauty to art created with arbitrary restrictions. Um, I, I remember now, I actually used to draw the kind of, uh, the kind of buildings you got in uh, Mercenary 3, and I did these animations. I want to see if I can animate. Let's see. Frames. Set number. Set... Uh, five frames. Oh, uh, oops, not six, six, six frames. Okay, and then let's see. There was a control panel. <gasps> yes, I remember this. Okay, so when you create the six frames, I guess it duplicates. Um, I'm going to ignore this j crap down here. But let's let's just do some little. Oops. <laughs> there I go trying to pick the colour uh, with a right click. Um, what do I want to do with this? Let's let's open it up. Um, oh, I wish I could. Where's the colour picker? Is there a colour picker? No, oh, there's that. It's not useful. Oh man, I need a colour picker. Colour. Oh, I can remap colors, that's nice. Ranges, highlight. Oh, hmm. Which color was it? Was it this one? Oh! <laughs> Using the wrong tool again. Let's just do that. Put that in there. There's actually something I do want to do with this. Um, I'm just playing around for now, but uh, I've been been uh, trying to learn pixel art, and this is not pixel art. This is this is just kind of shit. But um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe we can decide like a dark grey for some reason. That's too long. That's too dark. Can I read it more? I think when I'm working on pixels, I really like them to be very chunky, so I can easily see what I'm doing. So there we go, a little opening box. I mean, I, I could go further with this. You know, I could spend ages on this, but you know, you get. <laughs> 
There we go. Play all. <laughs> I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend a few minutes making making that open and close actually, just because just because I can, just for nostalgia. Um, okay. Oops. <laughs> Damn it! I've got to find the color again. Nope. So yeah, I've been learning. <laughs> Um, slowly but surely. Oops. I'm still not very good. I don't have an art background. Damn it, why can't I do that? Oh, well, fuck it. Uh, I'm sure there's a better way to do this. But... Uh, it's funny, because back at uni, when I started this ridiculous journey, um, I wanted to do 3D models. And I did actually um get pretty good if I say so myself. I was never really good at texturing though, that was my thing. Um because texturing is a lot like traditional art, really. You, you know, unless you're using like textures that you take out of uh something, then you know, like like phot photographic textures. Unless you're doing something like that, then then you don't really uh you, you need you need a you need an art background to make it work. And I didn't have that. And I just kind of assumed that a computing background would be enough to be able to do computer art. And it's not like that. Not really. But so so I went I went back to coding after many years of trying to be a good uh a good uh, 3D artist. <laughs> it's too fast. Let me change the speed. Um, you know, but it was a mistake, I guess. But as as the man said, <laughs> it's not a mistake if you learn. So, frame rate. There we go. Let's see. Yes, let's go for that. For this, let's do like eight. <laughs> And here we go. Rubbish little opening and closing animations. So I'd, I'd make all kinds of little animations like this. I'd spend like a few hours and make something that looked like you know, kind of thing you might turn into a, a shitty animated GIF. But this uh, this isn't um, this isn't pixel art because it's not really using the this, this sort of style, the outline style that pixel art usually uses. Um, so for that, I kind of want to skip this all. Get rid of that, and and what I want to do is uh, some of the Pixel Dailies. There's a Twitter account called Pixel Dailies, and they do. Uh, they, every, you know, it's what it sounds like. They every day. Um, hang on one moment. I'm going to use a little macro I like to use. Um, it's uh, I use. Um, I'll get back to what I was saying in just a moment. Uh, I use this macro uh, I made with uh, also Hotkey, which is a great little pro oops. great little program. Uh, it lets you, damn it, uh, yeah, auto Hotkey. It lets you um, basically emulate key clicks. So I have a. I'm actually let me actually use it. <laughs> um, I have a uh, macro. That emulates a click of the mouse with basically I use caps lock. So I press caps lock and it basically the computer interprets it as a uh, oops, as a click of uh, as a click of the mouse, and that's that's uh, quite useful because it saves a lot on my my sort of finger strain, which does actually cause me some problems. Oh man, my mouse is... I've really got to get a better mouse. I didn't even realize how bad it was until I really looked at it like this. I think that's probably why I zoom in so much. It's actually an ergonomic mouse. It's one of those ones that you use... Oh, I really need to know how to pan this, damn it. <laughs> Let's just do that. There we go. Um, 
the same. Curses. So yeah, I'm using that. This makes this a little easier. But yeah, pixel dailies. They, uh, it's, it, in case you couldn't, hadn't guessed, uh, today's one, actually it's yesterday's, but I'm a bit behind, is potions. So, I'm drawing some potions in deluxe paint. This is not very good. This is, this is very basic. Um, they have their, they sometimes have restrictions. Uh, theirs was 16 by 16. I'm pretty sure that's within the limit. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So that's within the limit. Let's just add a little bit of the shine there. It's not very good. I'm not very pleased with this, to be honest. Maybe meniscus would help. Mm. Let's put the level up higher. Try to get the uh, um, sort of the impression of a water uh, of, the, of the glass being sort of affected by that. Let's see if I can better with some gradients. Does that help? I don't have a good instinct for for this stuff really. That's my problem. I mean it just takes practice really. It's just I'm I'm willing to do the practice, but like I just feel like I'm not making any progress because I don't learn. I just do everything and it's like I don't know what I did wrong or what I could have done to make it look better. Um, I know that's kind of an excuse. I mean one of the things you really can do is just look at look at it done well and just copy it and then once you learn how to how to copy it you can you can you can start to do it better uh you can you can, you can start to do your own take on it so yeah it's not really good is it <laughs> But there's 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 a there's a guy I follow on Twitter who has these great um pixel art tutorials and I've actually used some of them for animations in my upcoming game. Huh. Which has been upcoming for a long time. I haven't spoken much about I mean I've spoken a little bit about it and not in any detail. I'm still not ready to release anything about it. You know, one of the reasons for that is that I've thought of what I think is a really good name for the game. Um, and it's like, it's not like, oh, it's such an amazing name. It's just like, I think it's a really kind of obvious name for a game. Like, it should have been thought of already, but I checked and it hasn't. And so I kind of don't want to say what I want to call it in case someone thinks, oh, yeah, I want to use that for my game. <laughs> I mean, I know it's kind of a kind of a thing for noobs to think oh everyone wants to steal my ideas don't 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 tell anyone your ideas or steal them i mean they won't really cuz 99% of the value of a game is is the work not the uh <laughs> not the, the 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 you know the ideas like the ideas guys uh, ideas guys are 10 a penny you know um well it's really valuable is the work but i do think that a good name has some value and it's not, like I said it's not like some amazing name it's just really simple and memorable and that's kind of the philosophy I went with for my channel name you know Jim Plays Games um, and for that reason I don't want to say it <laughs> until I sort of you know register my register it on the steam store and whatever and i've been looking into how to do that and that is uh actually kind of complicated like it's uh, i'm i'm registered as self employed now so there's all this kind of you know business stuff i'm dealing with and i don't really get it so much i mean i sort of do but it's like it's really unknown territory for me cuz i'm not a business savvy person at all and I have some friends who help me, but you know, it's uh, it's a whole new thing for me. 
Um, and, and, and there's this whole complex thing with Steam where if you, I don't know if this is different now because it's not, because the green light system is gone, but, um, you have to like get, if you're, even if you're not a US citizen, you have to get like a US taxpayer number and stuff and, you know, like register because Steam is a US company. So you need to, uh, You know, there's it's, it's tax reasons, so uh, kind of silly. This uh, I don't really get it. Um, I don't know what a potion bottle can we do. Oh, let's do it. Let's do a let's do a potion of fire. Yeah, not really possible, but neither is any kind of magic potion. Let's say like a like a like a bottle of like you that you find these in a roguelike. You don't want to drink this one because you know it'll, it'll burn. It'll burn. Or it's like, it's like that drink in uh, King's Quest. Not King's Quest, uh, Quest for Glory. Yeah. Fire is a tricky thing to do. I've been drawing fire for ages. Like, I, I, one of the first things I d drew, of course, was, uh, uh, was explosions, you know, spaceships shooting each other in explosions. And, so this, this is, this is what I used to do. This is how I used to draw fire. You just sort of have red on the outside, orange in the middle, uh, and then and then yeah, and then yellow, like a gradient, you know. And that looks okay, kind of, but it's it's not really good. Um, you can add a bit of white to give it some more brightness, but I'm really lacking the tools that I would use here uh, to make this better. Like I'd add some blurry stuff, but that's not really pixel art either, so. You know, I have struggled to make realistic looking fire stuff. And that's another thing. Um, I forget the name of the guy on Twitter, but I'll, I'll, I'll flash up the name on here. And a, a little clip of some of the gifts he does. He does these like sort of gift tutorials. Like it's this, this, it's an animated gif, but it sort of explains everything. And it's really, really instructive. Like how to do things like lightning and fire and, and, and idle animations and kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, little bits coming out there, sparks. This 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 should be a little bit more. That, yeah, it's not very good. I'm not very pleased with this, but you know, I'm not really going to post this. I don't think to the Pixel Dailies because it's it's kind of it's kind of shit. <laughs> but that's something I'd like to get into. I was actually thinking. Um, thinking of getting into streaming again and maybe one of the things I could do on stream is do some 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 drawing practice you know some pixel art do the pixel dailies and just chat with you guys because I miss streaming I just haven't it's just not really been possible right now I haven't been able to get large amounts of time Uh, for reasons, <laughs> and so uh, yeah, I, I did draw some better potions in this. So I'll flash up some of that. Some of that actually, because I'll show you. I can do better than this. Usually, don't talk when I draw, but um, and I usually have a reference, so. Like I said, steal from the best and then build your own style from that. So, I mean, this style, like the kind of like the changing of the color of the edge like that, that's something I, I, I picked up from somewhere. I can't remember where. You just, you just Google this stuff and Google image search and try to emulate it and come up with your own, your own take on it. But you, you've got to learn all the basics before you can start breaking all the rules. Um, hmm. But yeah, let's draw something else. What else should I draw? Let's draw a spaceship. <laughs> I like spaceships. I uh, remember I could I could always do the shape of the Enterprise pretty well. Um, yeah, I'd love to get back into streaming to doing games, you know, and 
all kinds of stuff. It's just right now I really have to focus on the game dev because I've been doing this game for like four years, man. And it's on and off. There's been other things going on, of course. But and I, I really appreciate your patience because my output has been so diminished. And some people have told me, you know, like, you know, what, what you 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 know, why are you putting out these long series and you know, you're you're not doing Amiga games anymore. That's not what I subscribe for. Unsubscribing. I mean. If you want to subscribe, that's fine. I mean, and, and I kind of, I, I do appreciate negative feedback. If you have some things you want to say about the channel, I'm not going to like bite your head off. You know, I can take it. I mean, I've got to learn to take negative criticism. I'm going to be releasing a commercial game. I do wonder how I'm going to deal with that. Like all the kind of assholes that just say horrible shit, you know. I'm going to have to learn to deal with it. So. And the thing is, I care a lot more about that game than I do about my YouTube content. I mean, I enjoy it. I, this, this is a hobby. This is, this is just fun to me. You know, if like, oh, if one of my videos isn't very well produced or, or, uh, something like that, like it's not going to drive me crazy if someone says it's shit. Cause I kind of, well, yeah, kind of is. It's just, it's just a little, little fun time. You know, it's not something I've poured my heart into for years on end. That's, that's not right. I really need a color picker. I am so missing a color picker. Why is there no color picker? Is it? It's not right. Right click is. Oh yeah, because right click is this is this. Um, yeah, this this is a terrible enterprise. Password collectors. It's too low res, really. The cells. The lights. But yeah, I'm I'm a terrible pixel artist, really. Um, I have had some help from the, with the graphics on my uh, on my game. It's been a bit of a intermittent thing because um, uh, well, you know, various reasons. But but I would not I would not be where I am without the support of some. Very nice people and friends. Rambling a bit, but you know, this is kind of a rambly vlog, really, isn't it? Um, sort of a vloggy, painty, drawy thing. Yeah, that's a rubbish enterprise. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's do, let's do a self portrait. <laughs> I can remember. Let's see. Just give a give, no, give me again an actual reference so I can so I can do this right. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I originally drew the the avatar for my channel, of course, based on the Mercenary Three character, the taxi driver with the Bob Ross haircut, <laughs> and. Uh, I think that came out pretty well, all things considered, considering not very good. Um, <laughs> and it is a, it always a lot easier when you have a reference to go off, you know, and you're not just trying to create something from from your own mind. Because that's the thing, I don't have a very good visual imagination. Like, I don't know if that makes, if you know what I mean, but like, I don't really have a great ability to just visually picture things, which I think is why I'm better at something like coding because it's more I'm better at thinking in more abstract ways than visual ways. I guess I don't know if that makes sense. Mm. So. Let's grab this color. See, I'm basically just copying the 3D version of my my of the avatar. Um, I'm not going off the pixel version I've already done, so it's like I'm trying to do this again. I'm going to use a, a stand-in color for the because uh, I don't want to. Oh, there's there's a, there's a sort of pinky. 
pinky colour for the for the skin. I'll do. Yeah, a lot a lot of pixel art is really about um how to work with these limitations. Um because let's just get some shape up here. Because you've got to just decide where the pixels go and things like this sounds obvious, but um, you know when you have to decide, you, there's no half pixeling. You know you have to decide where a pixel is there or it isn't, and whether to anti-alias, which usually you don't do with pixel art. Uh, traditionally, because of the lack of color depth, um, you didn't have the option. You could do dithering. Uh, I never really liked dithering. Like it can be used well, but sometimes it just looks just makes everything look spotty. And I mean, I know that's kind of that is the style, but. I kind of prefer everything to be a bit more smooth. And you know, pixel art is actually one of my favorite kinds of art. Um, it's so, something so lovely and crisp about it, you know? So I'd love to be better at it, but just not, you know? But I, I'd, I'd like to learn, I'd like to spend some time getting better. Um, and I have kind of painted myself into a corner, the game I'm working on, because I've gone for a sort of more realistic style than I really should have. Um, and it involves a lot of characters. And of course, humans are the hardest thing to, for us to draw, because it's, uh, this is terribly wrong. <laughs> um, Because that's what we're most familiar with, you know. Um, which colour was this? It was over here, wasn't it? It was one of these. Is it that? It's that. Yeah. Uh, so we're most likely to notice mistakes with humans. So kind of for the next game, I just want to make it like aliens and <laughs> and stuff. The game I'm working on now, I will tell you, it's a fantasy setting. It's a tactical RPG, basically, um, tile based combat. Uh, it's got a story. Um, it's not the greatest story in the world. It's not the most original story in the world, but it propels, it propels things forward, I think. And should be a little bit engaging, at least. Um, okay, so what I want to do here is do some outlines. I really wish I could just pick these colors down. So one way you can do outlines is you can do just uh, completely black outlines uh, and that is a valid style but I always I always prefer the um, kind of darkened outline so I don't actually have a good oh wait that's no that's that color um, yeah it's gonna be a bit of a subtle edge to this because I don't have the colors can I remap so let's just try doing that Colors. No, that doesn't do anything. Palette. Mixer. Ah, yes, okay, okay, good, good. Right, so I want this, but basically darker. So we've got hue, saturation, and value. Let's take the value down. Oh, oh! This is nice. I actually like this. This lets me actually change the colors themselves, and they change on here, because you, you have to, because that's... Uh, Okay, let's copy this to there and then just take the saturation down and then we can just make this an edge actually I haven't put my I haven't given myself a nose that's kind of silly oh but I actually, I actually prefer this I can work on the uh, yeah the proportions on this are all wrong look <laughs> at this great big bulge face uh, Yeah, this this is tricky. This is quite tricky. Um, so there's this kind of sharp angle there. It's too much. This is really difficult with this limited number of pixels. That's a bit better. Oh, it looks this looks hideous. It's too much. No, I can't can't do this very well. I'm very bad at this. See, that's my problem. I have a lack of 
good instinct about where to where to put this stuff because see more than one pixel is too much. So what do you do? What do you do when one pixel is is too far? And this is too high up now. This. I think it should be only really too wide there. And then the nose, just give it like that. That's that's kind of nah, eh, that's okay, I guess. Yeah. I mean, because this I want to be at an angle, but there's no there's no room for it really. It's just it's just gonna have to have a different face structure. Um Now, for this, I'm just going to fill that in and then change this color because... Um, there, just no. There, that's British. Yeah, this may be incredibly boring to watch, I don't know. I'm just rambling through it all anyway. But I felt like doing a kind of chill video. None of this screaming panic, oh my god I'm dying, my character. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna kind of settle for this and do start doing the outlines. And you can use these as kind of that see that's terrible. I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to use outlines on this very much, but I can use this colour as as a sort of a shadow. Yeah, under the thing maybe. I'd like to give that sense that the hair is kind of floating on top a bit. And then let's do a bit of a smile. <laughs> Goofy smile. Let's put it down a little. Uh, yeah. And some eyes. God, this, I didn't mean to make him look like this. I This is my problem. I, I, I am terrible. I, I should have had more pixels to work with, really. This is the problem. Um, let's give him a giant nose. I'm not trying to make a monster. <laughs> or, or, or just create, like, some offensive looking stereotype or something. I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm bad. Look, I, <laughs> screw this. I'm not drawing a self-portrait anymore. It's bad. It's terrible. It's terrible. I don't like it. I don't like my own art. I'm destroying my own art. I mean, the, the potions look all right by now, by comparison. <sighs> but anyway, um, <laughs> Uh, but I think it would be fun, wouldn't it, to 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 do do some live streaming and just uh, um do some pixel art. I wouldn't use this. I would use a, I would use like something else, um, Paint on Net or even Ace Sprites, which I, I haven't actually got, but I, I I've heard good things about it, and I think I should give it a try. Ooh, look at that on a grid, yeah. But um. Like I said, I do appreciate your patience and sticking around because I can understand why after a while you just think, oh, fuck this guy, he's not really, not really trying anymore. And I, I, I can certainly understand that. It's, you know, although I do, I do, I do find it sometimes strange when people say, "I'm unsubscribing." Here's all the things I want you to change, but I'm leaving, so you have no reason to now. Like, well, you should have said before, mate. I could have actually done something about it. Oops. Um. So you know, now that you've you've, you've gone, I like you're telling me to make these changes, but you won't even see them. So what's, what's the point? <laughs> I mean, but like I said. If you have negative feedback, feel free. And if if anyone sees something in the comments, you know, it can be that the first instinct can be to like jump to the defense of the person whose content you like. But you know, yeah, I, I, I could take it. It's fine. Um, I mean, if they're just being a dick, fine. But if they have a legitimate criticism, then then it's all good. That's terrible. I don't know what that is. It's just a big box. <laughs> um. 
But yeah, I do hope to be done with this game by the end of the year. At least have a beta done. Um, but who knows? Anything can change. Anything can go wrong. Life is what happens when you're making other plans and all that. Ooh, that's nice. You know, I don't think I ever saw this. I must have, though. I must have. Because I did all these animations, and they were pretty basic, but... Um... Hmm, isn't Mira there more here than before? Yeah. Oh, I like I like that they give you this, um... They give you these gradients, and then they give you two slots of completely blank to just work with. Um... This is... Oh! Okay. That was bad. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, one day, one day things will change. I'll get the game done and then I'll kind of take a break from game dev. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I may make zero money. I may make a loss. I'm not spending a lot on this, but there are some things I need to pay for, like sound effects and music, at least some graphics. Um, and of course, you have to pay a hundred dollars to get onto the Steam store at all now, and you get it back if you uh, if you uh, if you make a certain amount. So it's like recoupable, they call it. Um, but it does require an initial outlay, and and I have been making other money doing other things. I do apologize for this ridiculously rambly video. It's just, it's so, it's this stream of consciousness, not even, <laughs> not even, uh, coherent, really. That's the wrong color. But. Um, yeah, I'm just, guess I'm just signing this, this terrible piece of art. Yeah, I can't even draw the uh, kind of cartoony stuff that Pac Billy drew in his video. God, I am a rambler today. But I appreciate your patience and I appreciate you watching. I don't want you to think I ever don't give a shit anymore because I do appreciate it. And I know I'm lucky to have the audience I do. There's lots of people with great YouTube channels. We put stuff up every day and hardly get any recognition. I should do some shout outs. I mean, I, I usually do them at the uh, um, binary milestones, but my subscriber count has plateaued probably largely because I have stopped making regular content. You know. But let me know what you think about the future. Like, would you be interested in seeing streams? Joining in on streams um, of also non-gaming content. You want? Would you be interested in seeing the game dev? Not for this game, but for the next one, maybe. Like, I think it'd be really cool to kind of crowdsource some of the design. <laughs> you know, like, like kind of like early access, but get impressions from the chat and stuff. Of what, what kind of, uh, what kind of features to include? I think that'd be cool. Anyway, Deluxe Paint. Thanks for watching. See you next time.